So I'm here at our worm tub in the forest garden. And this is a demonstration of vermiculture or a vermicomposting system. So it's an old metal bathtub with a plywood roof. We started this back in the spring by adding some old aged manure and straw from the barn. And that already contained worms. And then I added some, you know, cardboard, um, some hardwood pellets, um, some stuff to kind of balance out the, the nutrients um, and act as a bedding. Um, there's some kind of wood shavings here. And then I, I use these, um, these burlap sacks as kind of like their blanket. Um, and you can see there's food scraps. There's like eggshells, avocado pits, banana peels, looks like some kale, um, some onion skins, which supposedly are not their favorite. Uh, it's not the worst thing, but like you don't want a ton of onion skins in your worm farm. Some carrots. Um, and I can see some worms. Oh, look. So I lifted up that little burlap blanket and there they are. So there are probably thousands, if not tens of thousands of worms in here. And if I kind of gently scoop into this material, you can see all the healthy worms and you can kind of see the consistency of the material. And then, you know, we added a lot of these uh, hardwood pellets and like cardboard and shavings and dried leaves and stuff to kind of balance out the moisture and also the carbon to nitrogen ratios. Um, but we're not trying to create a really hot compost pile. You know, this is a lower temperature um, at which the worms are more comfortable. It's basically just a really slow compost pile, you know, and they have thoroughly mixed this whole bin or the whole tub uh, right so they're churning this material constantly i put all the food on this side um, if they want to avoid that they can go to the other side try not to leave too many of these stickers on the fruits but i brought a bucket here of our food scraps so it's a lot of coffee grounds banana peels eggshells some tomato, you know, things. Maybe some dried flowers and stuff that were kind of rotting, uh, you know, so I kind of mix it around a little bit. They really like these kinds of like skins of pumpkins or, you know, avocado rinds. There's a lot of pumpkin seeds. A lot of these are probably gonna sprout in here, um, which is fine by me. So you can see, I kind of just mix it around a little bit. Um, it'd be good to add some, you know, bedding, like fresh bedding. Um, so I might get some wood shavings or, I don't know. Here's an eggshell, break it apart. So then I have these burlap blankets and I cover things up and this plywood roof and heavy log hopefully keeps out some of the larger animals. <laughs> and it kind of deflects most of the rain. You know, we don't want too much rain getting in here all at once. You could flood and drown the worms. Uh, but the bathtub does have a drain. It's kind of on the downslope side. So water and, you know, excess nutrients and all this stuff and the worm juice comes out the drain and it's been sort of soaking into this area, making it much more green. So this type of worm composting system is really easy to set up and maintain. Um, you just need some sort of container uh, that drains, um, you know, you can kind of scale it down to like a bucket or something or go big. Uh, you know, we like to create some, you know, 
sort of whimsical things. Like we have this old bathtub. We also have a canoe on like cinder blocks in a different part of campus. Um, so, you know, make it fun and creative so that kids are interested um, and that they want to interact. You know, like I was saying, it's really easy to make um, and maintain, but it has a really powerful effect, um, you know, in this setting, like an edible schoolyard, outdoor classroom kind of a setting. So if you're inter interested in doing that kind of thing, wherever you are, um, I highly encourage uh, setting up some kind of worm farm uh, that kind of teaches about, you know, closing the loop between food waste and growing food for ourselves. But yeah, you just encourage kids to put their apple cores in here or come, you know, feed the worms and uh, sing to the worms or something like that. Um, and they will be learning about the soil food web and how, um, you know, the process of decomposition works in the soil and, you know, also how we can create a really rich compost that feeds our plants and then that feeds us, right? So closing the whole loop of food production, uh, waste stream management. You can see we also have these other critters in here um, and we have these bingo cards, which, you know, it's like if you find a certain thing in the worm tub, you get a spot on your bingo card. Um, there's like, you know, if you find ants, which sometimes you do find ants and stuff like that, there are creatures other than worms in here. Um, and it'd be really interesting to get this under a microscope, right? Um, we actually did do that. I sent this to our friend who's um, a soil food web scientist. And, you know, he was sort of looking at the different, how much fungus versus bacteria is in there. Um, so let me know if you have any questions um, or suggestions or ideas. I'm always open to learning new things. Um, but yeah, this is our demonstration of vermicomposting here in the forest garden. Uh, and I just wanted to give an update. So hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and I'll try and make some more videos sometime soon. Have a good one.